So now we want to create an animated view with an IAD banner. To add the code we need to display the IAD banner along with the following words animation, we need to first open up mainviewcontroller.h, which I've opened here. Now, first thing we need to do is to import the IAD framework, which we just brought into the project so that we can use it in our code. And to do that, we type import, of course, it fills it in for us, and the header file IAD slash IAD dot H. That's the header file for the IAD framework. Now we need to set up the IAD banner views delegate, which is called when a banner view cycles to show a new ad, as well as when the user interacts with the banner view. Your delegate typically pauses your app's activities when a user taps an ad and restores those activities when the user finishes interacting with the ad. So here we had the ad banner view delegate ready for us to select. Xcode knew we were typing that because we had already imported the IAD framework. Now we have to establish the ad banner view and we do that down here within these declarations. Give a little space to show the difference. And we type add banner view is right there so we can select it. It's our banner view. Now we have a banner view by name and we need to put in banner view is visible. Next we open main view controller and we're going to put some code in the view did load method. Now we have already written the code that changes the background color of the main view and sets up the timer for the falling words and initializes the falling words and initializes the speed. Now what we want to do is add the code to create a portrait banner view and add it to the main view. We start by typing banner view is add banner, allocate it, and initialize it with the frame cdirect zero. Our banner view current content size identifier here. Add banner content size identifier portrait. Banner view delegate self and our banner view frame CG rect offset from the banner view zero minus 50. So what we've just done first of all to ensure that ads are displayed properly a banner view must always be sized to match one of the built-in advertising sizes. And the proper way to do this is to set the current content size identifier property to add banner content size identifier portrait or add banner content size identifier landscape. We're using portrait for this app. I also use a CG rec offset to move the banner up 50 pixels above the top of the view. This is because I want to be able to hide the banner if the user has seen the same one for more than 30 seconds. So the banner will roll back up to an offset of 50 pixels above the top of the view. And that's set here. As you can see, we have actually an error in our typing. We're passing add banner view to a parameter of an incompatible type CG rack. What's really going on here is that we forgot to include dot frame here. Now it is correct. So this code creates a portrait banner view and adds it to the main view. Soon we'll be doing a next set of methods to control this banner view.